absolutely destroyed us absolute destruction yes everyone hello 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 episode seven of my football manager journey last episode seven nil to lazio we have a lot of work to do and i read all of the comments a lot of feedback so i'm definitely going to take that on board in the build-up to newcastle which is a big game in the premier league our form in the premier league has been decent but that 7-0 loss right there is really, really bothering me. So first of all, let's go to the tactics. There's a lot of feedback I received. One of them being, stop changing the tactics. Okay, I will stop changing the tactics. The mentality, one person said positive, so I'm going to keep it at positive because it makes sense as well. So I'll take on the feedback that makes sense to me as well. In terms of the lineup, I mean, I've had to make changes because of our injury list. Do we have proper wingers? Let's check. Do we have actual wingers? This is all we have, so we have to play this sort of format. And I think this will work. It's just in the Champions League, I don't know what happened. And some of you were saying there was a lack of rest within the teams where people were playing the game tired. I can understand that as well, to be fair. So I plan on really keeping this lineup, and that's it. I'm not going to change it as much. This same formation, Garnacho is back. Let's put Garnacho in for Ericsson, put Garnacho on that side. The less said about the 7-0, the better, because after that day, I was so annoyed. I filmed episode 5 and 6 back to back, and episode 7 I'm filming 5 days after episode 6. So I just took a break from Football Manager, because... Ah, <sighs> yeah. Anyway. And a lot of you said stop changing the tactics during the game, so I'll take that on board as well. So I'm just going to let this team play with minimal intervention from myself. That's what I'll do. Let's forget about the Champions League. Let's focus on the Premier League. We are doing well in the Premier League. We're third in the league. Six wins out of nine. And we're on a three-game win streak in the Premier League. So there's nothing to really be frustrated about in the Premier League. We just need to bridge the gap between City and Liverpool. It's a big game. They're sixth in the league. So hopefully we can get a result. Garnacho is lacking in match sharpness. That's fine. I'll sort him out during the game. But Garnacho was our best performer in the first three games of the season. Big, big game for us. Can we get back to winning ways? Let's pump the fists. Let's... We're favourites for a reason. Let's go out there and play like it. Garnacho's apprehensive. Let's go to the attackers. Pump the fists. Make me proud. He's still apprehensive. Uh-oh. Let's go. And we have loss of focus. Here we go. <laughs> Come on. It's a very good lineup. It's a very good lineup. Can we get a win? That's the main thing. A win and a proper performance. Here we go. Let's go. Target. Puts it down the channel to Joe Linton. Joe Linton crosses it into Isaac. Isaac, edge of the box, hits off both posts and it goes out. Wow. Man United survived the scare. Bruno Gomares crosses it in. Joe Linton on the back post. Joe Linton gives it to Hall. Shoots. Good block from Varane. And Onana catches it. Man United riding waves of attack there. Wow. Man United just about surviving. Can they get a foothold on this game? Oh, big moments. Let's encourage the team. Dalla with a throw in. Menu into Anthony. He's going to cut in. Bruno on the edge of the box and it's a goal. What a goal from Bruno. Excellent assist from Anthony once again, who's on absolute fire. And it's 1-0 to Manchester United. VAR goal awarded. Thank you. Goal has been awarded. Good news for everyone. Man United with 58% ball possession. Newcastle have had four shots on target. Mm. Newcastle have had four shots on target. And hopefully they don't score on the stroke of half time. Can Man United see out the 1-0 lead and go into the changing room? 1-0 up. Anthony, good interception from Anthony. Good pop. Botman intercepts. It's Hall to Longstaff to Joe Linton. Newcastle playing the ball very, very nicely. Bruno into target. Who's going to cross it in to Isaac? Good header from Varane. Garnacho on the break. Is this a counter attack for Man United? Garnacho runs in to no one. Gives it to nobody. Casemiro plays it into Rashford over the top. Rashford 1 1 with the keeper. And he misses. Ah, oh, big chance for Manchester United on the stroke of half time. They could have made it 2 0. It's a bit tense, so there's 61% ball possession, but Newcastle have had four shots on target. So it's a bit difficult at the moment. 
let's just go into the dressing room. How are the teams doing? Things are well, but we can do better. The players have switched off a bit, so I'm looking to make a substitution if things don't change. Target, Anthony, good. Tracking back from Anthony, gives it to Varane. Varane to Dallow. Dallow, back to Varane. Varane gives it back to Dallow. Love this. Tiki Taka, Mainu into Varane. Back to Mainu. Look at this passing patterns from Rathball and Manchester United. Martinez into Shaw. Garnacho. Garnacho gives it to Casemiro. Casemiro gives it into Anthony. Good space. Mainu's making the forward run. Into Bruno. What a goal that is. Another Bruno Anthony connection right there. What an unbelievable goal. VAR. Goal awarded. There we go. That is an absolutely amazing goal. That is Rathball in a nutshell. Mainu's making the forward run. Opening up space. Anthony into Bruno. Goal. What a goal. Come on. Excellent finish. Beautiful build-up play. I mean, that build-up play was absolutely scintillating to watch. Absolutely scintillating to watch. Wow. And they've just said that was scintillating. Whoa. Did you just see that in the in the commentary? Whoa. That was interesting. Is this another goal? Sure. Gives it back to Martinez. Martinez into Dallo. Dallo back to Varane. Varane back to Dallo. Dallo into Bruno. Good touch from Bruno. Gets tackled. Newcastle on the break. Is Casemiro going to slow down the attack? Yes, he does. But Richie on the wing. Luke Shaw. Come on, I know you're tired. Put in your last bit of effort. Casemiro. Good tackle from Casemiro. And it's a penalty. It's a penalty to Newcastle. That was a tackle. Go on, VAR. Don't give it. And it's been awarded. It's a penalty. Let's swap out Luke Shaw and Martin. Let's put Luke Shaw off. And Newcastle have scored the penalty. So I've made the change. Gehi on for Luke Shaw. Martinez has gone to left back. Now it's going to get a bit interesting. The final few minutes. What's going to happen? Anthony is tired. Yeah, let's do it for Sancho. I don't mind. It's the last 15 minutes. United need to see out another win to gain that momentum. It's Bruno with a free kick. Is he going to whip one in the top corner? It's Bruno. And he hits it off the post. What a shot. That could have been his hat trick. What a shot. Wow. It's the last few minutes of the game. Come on. Bruno Fernandes is tied there. Let's do Mount. But Bruno crosses it in. It's Varane. It's Varane off the roof of the net. Ah. <sighs> Newcastle go long from the goal kick. Can Manchester United summon a counter-attack or will Newcastle make it 2-2? They're playing right through Manchester United. Good pressure from Rashford. Here we go. Dan Byrne gives it into Willock. Come on, Dallo. Newcastle with a shot on the edge of the box and they blaze it over the bar. Casemiro is tired. Let's bring on Amrabat. Oh, Amrabat's not even there. Let's bring on McTominay. Last few minutes. Bruno's tired. Let's bring on Mount. It's the final few minutes. Can't even make the substitution. It's the last few minutes. Ref, come on. Ref, don't play anymore. Oh, here we go. No way. And they've scored in the last minute. Oh. Is it offside? No. How, are, how is that happening? Free kick on the edge of the box. Just opens it up. And it's a 2-2 draw. Having been 2-0 up. Ah, Okay, fair enough. I mean, it's disappointing that we didn't win yet. Fair enough. Should have got the win. Should have got the win there. Ah, that's going to hurt. We were so close to the win. Not focused on the edge of the box. Now it's a big game. Arsenal versus Manchester United. Let's make sure we're ready for this game. Tactically, Martinez is very tired. But with the days of rest, he should be ready for that game. Man United denied by a late goal. Anthony, very good. Bruno, very good. Garnacho as well. So I'm happy with this, to be fair. And Aston Villa beat Liverpool. So United, ah, we could have closed the gap. But Arsenal away, that's going to be a big game. Fourth against fifth in the league. That's going to be big. I'm happy with the training schedule. I'm not going to change anything. You guys said I'm intervening too much. So I'll let it be. Tactically, are we happy with this team? I'm actually happy with this team. 
Let's do one Bissaka for Dallo. When we get close to the game, we'll do one Bissaka for Dallo. So what we'll do for this game, we'll bring on Gehi for Martinez. That's how we're going to go for this game. We're going to bring on one Bissaka for Dallo and tell one Bissaka to defend. Defending fullback, that's it. We need to make sure we're tuned in for this big game because that draw to Newcastle oh, got a bit lucky against Newcastle because they could have scored it earlier on. So I guess it's a fair result, but we were 2 0 up. Ah, oh, it's really gone to my nerves. Okay, big game, big game. Arsenal away from home, 5 30 pm kickoff. This is a huge game. I'm not making any substitutions. I'm going to trust Kobe Mainu and Casemiro. If I have to bring on Mount, I'll do it straight on. No worries. Straight away, second half, he'll be on. And I'm looking at that Lazio game again. We're playing them at home in the Champions League. Uh-oh. So <laughs> Foylan has 45 minutes in his tank. That's fine. Next match only. What, are they do what do they want? We trigger a press when Martin Odegaard has the ball. Going in strong on Bukayo Saka would be effective. Higher defensive line. I can see why that could work. But let's keep it as it is. Juan Bissaka Garnacho are a bit tired, that's fine. They they struggle they will struggle to see at the match, which is why we have Dallo, Mason Mount, Sancho. I'm not gonna trigger a press. Actually, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Big game. Let's pump the fists. Let's impress us. Midfielders, make me proud. Defenders, make me proud. Attackers, pump the fists. Quality finishing. Let's go. Some players have lost focus. Big game. Can we beat Arsenal? At the Emirates Stadium. Come on. Big result needed for Coach Rafaz and Manchester United. Arsenal have 53% ball possession. No shots on target yet from both teams. What type of approach are Man United adopting for this big game? Manchester United 51% ball possession, 55% ball possession. No shots at all. No XG, which is a problem. Half an hour gone, very uneventful game so far. Is anyone going to step up and make things happen? We are keeping the ball apparently. And is it an uneventful first half? Yes, it is. A very uneventful first half. Arsenal get the game on the way. Will we have something happening in the second half? Odegaard shoots. Nothing's going to happen. Sancho for Garnacho. Zinchenko. This is our first highlight of the game. Varane clears it off. Anthony, edge of his own box. Gives it to Onana. Onana tries to make a weird pass. Casemiro, good tackle. Garnacho. There's a lot of turnovers. Havertz gives it to Trossard. Trossard into Jesus. And Jesus scores 1-0. <sighs> Couldn't deal with the danger properly. And is it offside? And it's not offside. Manchester United need to get a goal now. Big game. They need to get a draw at least. Bruno Fernandes. What was that? What was that? And Arsenal are on the break. Here we go. Trossard. Come on. Slow him down. It's Jesus. He shoots. What a save from Onana. Or was that a miss? I don't know which one it was. Bruno is upset. So let's take you off Bruno. Bruno for Mount. Let's go. Come on. Let's get a draw at least. Reese Nelson gives it to Rice. Edge of the box. Rice, what a shot. Come on, Manchester United. Casemiro is a bit annoyed. Let's bring on McTominay. Let's do it. Mount. Varane. Juan Bissaka. Juan Bissaka gives it into Casemiro, who plays what he sees very good. Back to Varane. Varane gives it to Casemiro. Back to Gehi. Good. Shaw. Gives it to Sancho. Sancho plays in Mount. Heavy pass. Very heavy pass. Come on, boys. Don't want to lose this game. Come on, Ben White. As they call him, Benny Blanco. Ben White gives it back to Ramsdale. Can we start pressing them high a bit? Thomas Partey gives it to Gabriel. Gabriel into Rice. Rice into ne Reese Nelson. Nelson into Odegaard. Into Enketi. What a pass. Into Saka. And they've absolutely walked right through us. They've walked right through us. It's 2-0 to Arsenal. Everyone's upset from Manchester United. Everyone's crying about it. We've had no shots on target. An awful day in the office. Anthony 
is driving with the ball, gets tackled by Rice. Rice into Odegaard. Odegaard into Enketier. Enketier into Saka. Here we go. Uh oh. Saka into Odegaard. Edge of the box. Back to Saka. They've hit the post. What a chance that was. Onana playing out from the back against Ver with Varane. Varane into Mainu. Mainu drives with it, gives it to McTominay. McTominay into Sancho. Sancho drives with it, gets tackled by Arsenal. Ah. Oh. Juan Bissaka just kicks it long to absolutely no one. What is going on? A very disjointed, a very disorganised performance from Manchester United. And it's basically full time. Rice hits it over the bar. Ah. 2-0 loss, a very bad day in the office. No shots on target, awful, absolutely awful. I'm far from pleased with that result. Everyone wants to be upset, fine, be upset. And that drops us to six in the league. Now we've lost some ground. We've lost a big amount of ground. It's a big shame. Ah. Now this is a big game once again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take off Mainu for Amrabat. Where is Amrabat? We're gonna bring on Amrabat for Mainu. We're going to tell Amrabat to be a defensive midfielder, a ball-winning defensive midfielder, just like this. And then we're going to tell Shaw to be an automatic. That's fine. What's the familiarity? Amrabat is green. Casemiro's is green. Garnacho's is green. So everyone's everyone's familiar with their roles. Let's bring on Martinez for Gehi for this big game. Is Lissandro familiar? Yep. Everyone's familiar with their roles. So we should be ready for this game. Big revenge day. We need to take our revenge because Lazio absolutely destroyed us. Absolute destruction. That's, that's what Lazio did to us. They literally said, you know what, Manchester United, here's the sword. That's what they did. And Manchester United, you know, we have to win this game. Otherwise, we'll probably get Europa League or finish fourth in the group stage. This is a must win because we've won one and lost two in the Champions League. A draw is not bad, but then that's when it gets very, very you know, confusing, very complicated. Opposition instructions, yeah, let's do that one. Let's go to team selection. I'm gonna bring on Sancho for Garnacho. Come on, boys. We drew to Newcastle, lost to Arsenal. The previous game, we lost to Lazio, so we're on a non-winning streak of three games. We haven't won in three games. Can we get back to winning ways? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, big game. A must win for Manchester United if they want to be serious about the Champions League. If not, they can draw or lose this game. Then it just gets complicated. Come on, boys. Come on. 68% ball possession. Varane gives it into Juan Bissaka. Juan Bissaka, patient build-up from Manchester United. Gives it to Martinez. Martinez back to Varane. Varane is looking for options. Goes back to Onana. Onana back to Martinez. Good. This is Raf ball. Luke Shaw has a bit of space. Drives with it. Gives it to Sancho. Sancho gets it back. Gives the ball away twice. Sancho on the third attempt, keep the ball. What a pass into Bruno. What a goal. The power of perseverance from Jaden Sancho, never giving up. Gave the ball away twice. On the third time, threw ball into Bruno. What a goal. Martinez into Sancho. Sancho back to Martinez. Good build up play from Raf. And Manchester United into Martinez. Bruno again. Bruno squares it in. Oh my God, how did we not score that? But that Jaden Sancho and Bruno combination is working really well. Manchester United need to build on this momentum. Crosses it in. Sancho, you've got a bit of time, mate. And it's gone off. Good. I'm very happy. Good start from Manchester United. Look at that. 64% ball possession. Lazio have not had a sniff at goal yet. This is a big, big game for Manchester United. If they win this game, things will change big time. Good domination from Manchester United. 1.21 XG. 60% ball possession. 90% pass completion. Good start. Good start to this first half. But against Newcastle, United were 2-0 up. And look what happened. Damian gives him to Luis Alberto. Luis Alberto chips over to Felipe Anderson. Uh-oh. Oh. Big chance waste for Lazio. It's a corner. Is he going to cross it in or is he going to go short? Crosses it in. Good clearance. Martial. Marusic, Damian, nothing happens there. So it's a good first half, very positive first half to be fair. Just need that second goal. 
let's pump the fists. Things are going well, but we're capable of even better. And some people are unhappy. Okay. You, we need to win this game. Don't understand the importance of this game. For the morale, for the Champions League hopes, Anthony, who's been very, very good for us this season. Juan Bissaka gives to Varane. Patient build-up play. Love this from Manchester United. Casemiro into Martinez. Martinez into Luke Shaw. Sancho is operating in a, operating in a pocket. Gives it to Bruno. Back to Sancho. Look at this combination play. Sancho into Rashford. Rashford shoots. What a goal. The combination play is looking so good. This episode... Yes, I know we, we drew to Newcastle, lost to Arsenal, but this combination play, even against Arsenal and Newcastle, some of the build-up patterns were amazing. Amazing. Last episode was not the greatest in terms of build-up, but look at this play. Come on, boys. But let's not lose our 2-0 lead, just like we did to Newcastle. Come on, let's focus. Casemiro's a bit unhappy. We've limited them as well, so maybe Casemiro Amrabat is going to work. I kept saying I'm not going to play Casemiro and Amrabat together, but perhaps this is the one. This is the formula. Let's do it. Yeah, Mason Mount on. Luke Shaw, let's take you off for Gerhi. And let's put Martinez at left back. Yeah, let's do it. Can we get a third goal? Varane gives it to Wan Bissaka, who's got time and space. Wan Bissaka, is he going to cross it in? He cuts it back to Amrabat, edge of the box, who shoots. Bit of chaos in the penalty box. Offside. Final few minutes. Has Mount had a good game? I think Mount has had a good game as well. Luis Alberto, edge of the box. Time and space, Hisaj. Back to Marusic. Sancho, good interception. Is this going to be a counter-attack? Gets tackled, but Manchester United keep the ball. Sancho again. I love his perseverance. He's played very well today. Casemiro. Driving forward, gives to Amrabat. Amrabat driving forward, keeps going. Good pass into Anthony. And it's a penalty to Manchester United. Uh-oh. VAR check. Is this a penalty? Is this a penalty? And he's awarded the penalty to Manchester United. Very good revenge from Man United after their 7-0 loss. Rashford steps up. Is he going to score? And he scores. It's 3-0 to Man United. A big, big statement in the Champions League. Back to winning ways in the Champions League. Very, very happy. What a game. Let's take off Casemiro for Scott McTominay. Let's take off Mount for Ericsson. If I could do it. No, it's full time. Very, very happy. Very good win. Back to winning ways. Well done, lads. Very good win. Everyone's happy. We're back to winning ways. So, this episode, that Newcastle draw should have been a win. Arsenal absolutely dominated us. Very good win in the Champions League. And the next game is Liverpool at home. That's a big game. Because we have to beat Liverpool if we want to compete for the title or for the top four as well. So, better episode than the last episode I am happy overall just that Arsenal loss means that we have a lot of work to do but until next time this is coach Rafaz aka the honest football coach stay tuned for episode 8 peace